Hi guys, Kara here. Um, it's been a while since I've posted a video, uh, and I am now recommitting to posting a weekly video uh, because I'm giving up a year of my life. I'm giving it to Danny Johnson. So last weekend, I drove to Ohio and went to First Steps of Success. Um, with Danny Johnson, and I knew I knew it was going to change the way I looked at things, right? Like I knew I was going into this like really great business seminar, but what I didn't realize was how much it was going to change the way I looked at everything. Um, to be personal, I've been really um, going on this journey and um, challenge with struggling with my spirituality, and it just reaffirmed everything for me and made me feel this like real amazing inner calm and peace and it's made me really look at my why like why I'm here why I'm on this planet what I'm supposed to be doing with my life um so one thing she said was like give me a year of your life and I'll change it and I know that was like tying into like going to her creating a dynasty uh workshops and continuing to go to first steps to success um but I wanted to tie that into like how I'm going to get my own development from her uh, and I highly encourage you to come, like, join me on my challenge. Um, and you can find me on Facebook or message me. And I'd love to help um, to help you, too. So this is what I'm going to do. So I cannot go to the next Creating a Dynasty, which I was too, too bummed about because I really wanted to go. But it's already, like, a super busy weekend that um, I can't move things around for. While I was there, though, I did uh, buy my tickets for me and my fiancé to go in January to Los Angeles, which was, like, a huge leap of faith. Um, we don't have the money for it right now, but you know what? We're going to find it uh, because that's how important this is. Um, so what I've decided to do is I'm taking a different DVD, CD, or um, personal development that I have from Danny, and I'm going to focus on one a month because I'm finding what I do is I try to do everything at once. And instead of doing just a few things amazingly, I try to do too many things just average. Um, and then just average turns into not doing them at all. And then I feel anxious, I get upset with myself, I feel like a failure, and then I just quit everything. And so knowing all this about myself, um, I'm going to give myself some mini challenges. So each month I'm going to focus on a different principle. No, no, I'm not going to completely ignore the rest of my life. I still have a full-time teaching job. I'm still trying to get my uh, Beachbody career to being a full-time career. I'm still going to work really hard at that. But this past week, all I did was focus on me and my why. So for October, I decided to focus on war on debt. I thought I was really in touch with my finances. Um, I've read a lot of books, um, a lot of stuff by Dave Ramsey about just like how to get yourself financially done. I've paid off a student loan and a credit card this year. But I was like, I'm going to invest the money and I'm going to buy this DVD and I'm going to really like relearn about it because now that I'm getting married, like I want us to put our finances together. I want us to do this together and become one unit. So we watched the DVD. I went through the exercises and I found that I had almost $400, just me, in excess fat. If you're not sure what fat is, uh, you definitely need to invest in some Danny Johnson stuff uh, or message me. I'd love to help you with it. But $400. That was all the stuff I'm making with Beachbody. That is extra money that's just there that instead of putting towards what I'm supposed to be putting it towards and paying off my wedding, which is in six months, what am I doing with it? I'll tell you what I did with it. I went to Wawa. I got a coffee. Uh, Amazon. Hello, online shopping. Like, that's where it all went. Um, and I went through my budget, and I realized that, um, confession time, I have $110,000 in debt. Let that, like, sink in. Like, that is so much debt. I'm going to be 30 this year. I do not want to have a life where I have all this debt. Because for a while, I thought my why was, oh, I want to pay off all my debt so I can buy this big house, so I can have these things, so I can feed my ego, so I can prove to myself and other people that I've made it. But now, after this weekend, I've learned, like, that's not my why. I want to do this because... While I'm worrying about money, like, yes, I can pay my bills, but this $110,000 is in the back of my mind. Like, while I'm worrying about that, I'm not able to give back like my mission is. I'm not able to do that because I'm thinking all I have to do is work, work, work. I have to make the next sale. I can't spend time, like, getting to know people because I'm just worried about making the money. I can't, you know, tithe like God is asking me to. I can't give my time because I'm just trying to work, work, work. And that's not how I want to live my life. I want to give back to people. I want to help other people live happy lives, you know, and I can't do that while I'm buried in this, like, death that's, like, sitting here, like, it's, like, on my shoulders, so I came back, I sat with my fiance, we looked at it, and we were, like, all right, we put our stuff together, and we said, let's do this, so this week, I gave myself the challenge for the war in debt, because it's halfway through the month, I kind of have a good understanding of it, um, my dog's working, um, 
So this week was just noticing it, like where is the money going, where do I want to spend it. So what I found was I had paid off all my stuff, and the times I spent extra money were uh, I stopped at Wawa and got two cups of coffee, and I bought things for other people. I bought things for some of my kids at school. I spent money on other people. And I'm realizing, like, that's part of my ego is I'm a people pleaser. And I do that because, yes, you should do good things for other people, but I'm doing it at a detriment to my own self. So that was, like, a really big, like, ah, you know, like, aha moment. Um, I also found that I was spending way too much money on my groceries. Danny suggests $20 per week per person. That's crazy, right? But it's not. Um, I went to the store. Uh, we just went yesterday to get the stuff that we need. And really, we need produce. And like everyone's like, oh, you're a vegan, so it's so expensive. It's not. It is not. If you do it smart, if you meal plan, if you cook, right? And she says, eat out of your pantry. We have so much stuff in our pantry, I can't believe it. Now, the hardest thing is being like, I really don't want to eat this stuff. That's why it's been sitting in my pantry this whole time. But in the back of my head going, I just had oatmeal for lunch because I want to pay off my debts. That's what's important. Um, so now my new goal is I want to run war on debt classes, and I want to help other people. I, I love um, budgeting, yeah, super nerd. Like, I love that sort of stuff. I love challenges and goals, and, like, what I really want to do is I want to help other people tackle their debt, come up with a great budget, start to use Danny's principles, because they work. I saw all of these testimonials of people. One of my friends that I went with paid $40,000 off in four months. I'm going to be able to do that. Me and my fiance are going to be able to do that. I want to help you and other people do that. So my focus for next week um, is still acknowledging where I'm spending it, but also starting to see, like, are there things I can sell? Like, do we have anything, like, around the house um, that I can sell? Or I have two weeks left in the month, so I'm either going to do that, or I'm going to look at where I can decrease my funds. Can we um, cancel our cable? football season, but can we do that, right? Can I downgrade my cell phone plan? Um, so I know my schedule is crazy this week. I'm going down to Florida for a business trip. So I'm thinking selling isn't like going to be the best for this week. So you know what? I'm committing to you, accountability. I'm going to look at all of my bills and I'm going to make some phone calls and I'm going to see where I can lower my monthly payments, where I can get rid of things because I don't need the things. You don't need them, right? The freedom is what you need. So uh, I'll put my email address, find me on Facebook, feel free to shoot me an email. I want to help you. Let me help you. Um, I'm in Philadelphia, so if you're local, we can totally meet up. Um, thank you for listening. Thank you for being my accountability, uh, and I hope you have a blessed and wonderful week. Thanks.